video we talked about the offset function, but we didn't really talk about a practical example of where you might be able to utilize it. So in this video, I'm going to go over uh, an example of where I have used offset in the past, where it's caused me actually, not the function, but where Excel's caused me a few problems and offset has fixed the issue. So what I have here is I have a basic spreadsheet and on this side I put your regular old sum function that added up this range of numbers. However, over on this side, I am going to use a sum function, but I'm going to combine this with offset. And I'll show you the reason why in, in a second. So what I'm going to do here, it's going to be a slightly more complicated, but I'm going to say equal sum open bracket. The starting position in this particular case, I do want to be B2. The finishing position, however, I'm actually going to use the offset function to determine that. So I'd like it to be one cell above the current cell that I'm in. So we would achieve that by typing offset. So this is the start of the range and now this is going to be the end of the range. So the reference is going to be this total cell and that in this particular example would be B10. I know some of you are thinking this is going to be a circular reference. It's not because we're referring to the actual cell reference. Its value is not needed to calculate the offset function so we're not going to get a circular reference error. So the number of rows I'd like to go up would be one. Now going up, that means I have to put that in as a negative value. So that's gonna jump one row up. The number of columns I wanna change would be nothing. So I'm gonna do comma zero. I'm gonna close the bracket for the offset function. And then I'm gonna close the bracket for the sum function. Now, this is a lot more complicated. I'm gonna give you that, but there is a reason for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and I get the proper sum. It's basically saying start at B2 and then go to B10 and go one row up. So that would be B9. So it's select, it's basically adding up everything from B2 to B9. I'm gonna show you a situation where this becomes a problem. Let's say I insert three additional rows or there's a whole ton of rows and, and whatever users of this template are gonna be inserting multiple rows at a time, who knows? Some are gonna be blank, some are not. So let's say I wanted to add a category here called miscellaneous, okay? Now, this one was the sum function, correct? I want you to take a look at the function. It says C2 to C9. So it's referencing that set cell. So if I come in here and I typed in a value, you'll notice that function doesn't change. However, if you would have completed all the values, then it would automatically work. However, this might not be the case. I might have blanks, I might insert blanks. You'll notice when I've utilized my offset here, if I put in a value, the function has automatically adjusted for that because it's based on the total cell here and it's going one cell up. So it automatically adapts irrespective of if I filled in values or not. This is this one situation where I've utilized offset to fix what would have been a really big problem for my users. Uh, and instead it's become a solution by simply using one of the built-in functions in Excel called offset. 